Hello and welcome to data structures using C course. So I am the skinny coder aka Rahul Sriram and this is my first ever paid course apart from YouTube. So I welcome you all. What are data structures? Like we keep hearing that name in the job interviews and preparation field and everything but beginners don't actually know what data structures are. So let us ask Wikipedia. I know you're like uh, my teacher always says that Wikipedia can't be trusted, it can be edited by anyone, but you know, we are students, that's what we do, that's how we do our assignments, right? So Wikipedia says that uh, data structures is some data organization, management and storage format, and it it shows the relationships between them and the functions and operations, blah, blah, blah. I don't want to confuse you with Wikipedia definitions at all, I was just kidding. So let me put it in simple terms for you. I think data structures is a collection of similar data atoms, and by atoms, I mean smaller elements like uh, data types which are primitive data types like integers or floats or strings or characters or whatever okay so if we put them in if we put similar atoms of uh, such kind you know, of a similar kind in into a collection and that is called a data structure it can be in any format and any shape it can be a linear thing it can be in a tree structure it can be circular whatever all right now the most important thing when it comes to a data structure is not just storing data but also performing some actions on it now that is what we show here. What all actions can be performed upon a data structure is also very important. Because if you if you are having an array, we can just push some elements into it and remove an element from it and perform a linear search on it. So those are the actions that can be performed, all right? So we should know the list of all those actions that can be performed on a abstract data type or a data structure. And the most important thing when it comes to data structures is how to display them because there are millions of data structures and there are um, millions of ways to display each data structure and we should be well versed with each of them. For example, a tree data structure, we have multiple ways to traverse through it and display it and we should know the discrepancy between each of them. And finally, the most important thing is how efficient are the actions which we have so mentioned in the previous uh, point and in terms of space and time. We measure the efficiency in, in terms of space and time and we often call that as space complexity or time complexity. So we should also be aware of the space and time complexities of each action and each data structure so that we can choose the right data structure for the right requirement, right? So data structures are used to store data and it is, it's not just like we have a unique data structure and a universal data structure that can be used in any uh, case and hence we have so many of them. It just um, should match to the requirement of us and we'll have to choose a precise one and we should go through. All right. Now this course is divided into two parts. The first part is linear data structures where we'll be discussing stacks. We'll be using simple arrays to uh, display a stack. Then we'll get into queues and you'll use an array to display that queue. When, then we'll shift to linked list just to have a new introduction apart from the array based approach to data structures, which is a node based approach. And now that we know how node based approach and single linked list work, we'll come back to stacks and queues and implement them using nodes. And then we'll just finish off all the remaining data structures like circular queues, decks, and double, doubly single linked list and circular linked list. All right. Now, since I'm super awesome, I also provided you with the code uh, here in github.com slash the skinny coder data hyphen structures. And you can go to the source folder. And I also have a uh, setup in the readme file to install the compilers and debuggers and VS code and how to set it up, tasks and everything. All right. So you don't need to worry about having a de not having a development environment and not able to follow along i also have um, uh, included all the important files that should be present in for vs code all the installation guides and structures for every operating system this is this uh, setup tutorial setup for the tutorial file this readme file is completely cross platform if you want any tips and uh, if you want to get the more out of this course and ex extract so much from this course then there is only one tip for you that i can give which is code as you follow because I just don't want you to watch the videos and leave it off okay you should code as you follow because they can there might be some implementations that you might not like my way of implementations or uh, there might be some methods which I have not at all discussed so as you code you can implement them and you know you write your code your own way and you'll know the difference between uh, what all can be performed what all can do you'll know how uh, how comfortable you are with my teaching approach and everything all right so I hope you love the course and Let's hop in.